Robert Bateman, The Boy Who Painted Nature, written by Margaret Ruhrs, illustrated by Robert Bateman. Even when he was quite small, Bobby was in awe of nature. While others played baseball, he scooped up tadpoles, studied their wiggly shapes and released them back into the pond so they could grow into fat frogs. Look at the red feathers on that bird's head, he said. He bought a field guide to help him identify birds. He roamed the ravine, noticing the different greens of leaves. His mother bought him a paint box and he tried to get the colors just right. Bobby drew birds. He painted deer and squirrels and even more birds. In school, he spent a lot of time staring out the window. He dreamed of traveling so he could see more wildlife from whales to wrens. As Bobby grew into Bob, he learned the names of plants and animals. He painted the shapes and patterns of the world around him. He carved wood into birds, noticing the details of feathers and form. He drew tracks of a deer and followed a rabbit's trail. As soon as he could, Robert traveled the world. He studied bears, owls, feathers, moss and wood that had been polished by waves. He painted penguins in Antarctica and polar bears in the Arctic. In Africa, he observed lions and elephants. He painted them so as well so that others could see their splendor. Robert married and had a family. He became a teacher and all the while he painted. Soon princes and presidents wanted to own his paintings. To share the beauty of bears in a rainforest with more people, prints of his paintings were made. These prints showed nature seen through Robert's eyes to everyone, not just those who could buy an original painting. And his birds seemed to fly off the canvas, right into the hearts of people all over the world. Robert brought animals to life for those who would never get to see them. Now Robert walks the forest with his grandchildren. He shows them the shape of a leaf, the texture of bark. He tells them to pay attention to the details of nature all around them. He picks up a feather, and when his grandchildren notice its softness and curve, he helps them to draw and paint the beauty of nature. I can't conceive of anything being more varied and rich and handsome than planet Earth and its crowning beauty is the natural world. I want to soak it up, to understand it as well as I can, and to absorb it. And then I like to put it together and express it in my paintings. This is the way I want to dedicate my work. Robert Bateman.